What's going on, Cowboys Nation? It's your boy DMV back with another one, man. And I'm just here and I'm sitting here thinking I woke up with violence on my mind. Nah, I ain't talking about violence, but you know, and when I say I'm talking, I, I thought about violence, I thought about Marquise Bell and what he means to be an undrafted free agent for the Cowboys. But before you do anything else, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell each time I come out with content. All right, man, let's get into it. Look, Marquise Bell is a really good player. 6'2", uh, 200 pounds, man. Uh, he has the pedigree of a really good player. Now, see, what a lot of people don't understand is that this was a four-star recruit. This was a guy that played in the, um, you know, the Under Armour uh, All-Star game as a high school player. And he was recruited and, you know, he went to Maryland and never stepped foot on the set foot on the field uh, for, for violations, uh, whatever they were. You know, I didn't dig too deep into that because I'm not really about that. But he went the Juco route, went to Coffeyville for a couple of years, and then he transferred to FAMU. And yeah, I'm gonna call Florida A&M FAMU because I know what um, what it's like to play for HBCU. So, you know, I got a lot of love for the HBCUs out there. And to be honest with you, when I look at the prospect and I look at, um, when, I, when, when I look at Marquise Bell, the only reason he was not drafted is because he went to an HBCU. And see, that's the type of things that, that Deion Sanders was talking about when, you know, he wanted to start, uh, when, when, that's why he went to Jackson State, because, you know, the HBCU route um, is, is definitely something that is overlooked by NFL teams now. I don't know when it started. Maybe it started like like pandemic on, but I do know, I, I played with a guy that was a pro bowler that has damn near a Hall of Fame career in Antoine Bethea. Um, at Howard and I sat and watched his career turn out the way that it did and I'm not saying that Marquise Bell could be Antoine Bethea but this is a four-star recruit um, that because he was there uh, he's not looked at as these other guys if you look at the tape if you look at the things that I've been playing in the background man uh, you can see that this guy right here fits the pedigree of what a lot of teams want right now which is that box safety that can play curl to flats hook to curl uh, be that you know extra linebacker if it may because you can see that he'll step up he'll he'll um you know he'll fill in the gaps during the run fits um the only question that I have about him really isn't necessarily his physicality or his you know because I think that it's a talent to be around the ball I wouldn't necessarily call him a ball hawk you know because I feel like that term is, is, is overused but he's somebody that's around the football so he can find the football but the only, not, not necessarily not for question I have is what he can do when he's in space, you know? Um, and I had that same question about Javon Holland last year. You see how he turned out. The only way that that question gets answered is when you're put into the fire. But as far as the player itself, um, the guy's explosive. Um, he's strong. Uh, he, he tackles well. Um, he's hungry. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get out there being a being a four-star recruit and having that chip on his shoulder and being that pedigree of a top player anyway and being that and growing up and being that his whole life. He's going to go out there. He's going to turn some heads. Do not be surprised if this guy makes the roster. Do not do not be surprised if this guy makes the roster. Um, you know, guys like guys that, that are behind curse. You know, they better watch out, man, because this guy's coming and he might become a backup because I can see them putting him on special teams and everything. So, yeah, take a look at Marquise Bell. Take a look at some of the footage out there. Uh, take a look at, you know, some of his accolades in the past and, and do some do some research. But I'm very excited about this player, guys. All right, man, I'm out. Peace.